So the type of research that's being done at the University of Colorado involves treatment trial. And a treatment trial is when you actually try to relieve symptoms or improve quality of life and see what the outcomes are after intervening. And here we're starting a treatment trial where we're going to use transcranial magnetic stimulation of the brain to see if it can suppress some of the visual symptoms that people have with visual snow. And we're hoping that it will be successful. We, we don't know for sure, but we hope that it would lead to a larger study. So there's two different types of studies that can be done when we're doing treatment trials. And one is an open study, meaning you're not comparing a, a group of people who are receiving treatment to a group of people with the same condition who are not receiving treatment. Instead, this is an open pilot where everybody that's entering the study and getting treatment will be known. There will be no one getting treatment that is a placebo or a non-intervention. Uh, and by doing that, we can at least make sure, number one, that there are no changes that occur in symptoms that make people feel worse. That's, that's number one. And number two, that if it shows promise, then we would do a larger study that would involve people that are receiving a, a sham or a, or a placebo treatment, and we'd compare that to how people do when they receive the actual real treatment. And I think cure is a hard term to use when we talk about where we are in the current state, um, not just with visual snow, with any brain disease, is that cure really involves taking away the disease and not necessarily having to have any treatment at any time to relieve a symptom. And really where we are with the neurosciences in general and with brain research in general is really trying to relieve symptoms or potentially take away symptoms and maintain a person's quality of life. But the, the problem or the disease may remain under, under the surface, for instance. Um, an example might be something like multiple sclerosis. We can't cure multiple sclerosis, but we can absolutely allow people to lead a, a high quality of life without a lot of symptoms.